So it's my birthday. I'm not going to tell you how many, but it's well past the half century now. Melanie said, what do you want to do for your birthday? I said, I don't know. And then she said again, what do you want to do for your birthday? So she kept asking what I wanted to do for my birthday. And the best I could come up with was to go find a new place to do some photo shoots and photo walks and wilderness photography. And we're taking it up a step, though. We're bringing more and different cameras this time. So this is the highlight today. This is the big one I'm looking forward to shooting for the first time ever. This is a 100 plus year old Kodak. It's actually a brownie, uh, number three brownie model B, as in boy. Uh, this thing is over 100 years old. The best I can figure from research I've done online puts it between 1909 and 1917. So more than 100 years, very old. It's a very simple camera. We already did a video about cleaning it up and a little bit of repair on it trying to get ready to go hopefully it's gonna work i mean i think it i think it'll work because it's very simple and i've been able to test everything but as far as how good things are going to turn out i don't know i've cleaned everything as best i can i've cleaned the lenses as best i can i'm still not totally happy with what the lenses look like but you know <laughs> we'll see what we can do with it um i do have for film we're going to be shooting some uh ilford hp5 plus today this is 400 ISO. Um, and I'll show you there on the other end here. And this camera was, I forget the, the spec on it. It was an odd film size. But apparently 120 is close enough you can use it. So we're going to try 120. This is medium format film. The negative is huge. <laughs> it's uh, three and a quarter or three and a half by four and a quarter or four and a half. So it's massive compared to, to 35 millimeter film. So we're going to be trying it anyway, see what we can do with it. Uh, so bring that. Of course, I'm bringing the Sony A6, A, yeah, A6000. My, this is kind of like my standby default uh, all-around camera. does a great job. Um, got a uh, more or less wide-angle lens on it. This is the 16 to 50. We're bringing that. Also bringing along the telephoto, though. This is a uh, 55 to 210, I think. So we'll be bringing this along, too. Specifically because where we're going hiking, I think we might need this. And also, just for fun, we're bringing along the Instax Mini 40. We did, uh, if you saw the previous video we did with this camera, we had some fun with it. We shot seven photos in that trip, so we have three left in here, so I'm bringing along this pair of cartridge of film for that, just in case. This one's color still because of where we're going. I have some black and white I'm looking forward to shoot, but for today, we're sticking with color, I think, because of where we're going to be at. So... With that, I'm going to try and get this thing loaded with film. It'll be my first time putting film in it. I've had it all disassembled and cleaned and a little bit of repairs. Now it's time to try and put some film in it. So wish me luck, guys. Putting film in this is technically simple. <laughs> it's got two of these latches on it. On, on. So what we're going to do is you have to flip these to the side. And there's a little rounded hole on one side. That allows it to pop off the little pin that it retains it on. And same procedure over here. You just pop it to the side and off. Oops, I went the wrong that way. That's the right way. It can be a little bit quirky at times, but these, there it is. These are very simple cameras. When I first got this thing, I literally had to find a YouTube video to figure out how to open it because even with the latches undone, it won't open. I thought, well, maybe it's just stuck. It's broken. It was a, you know, it was given to me by a viewer, Richard. Uh, so thank you, Richard, again. Uh, along with the Polaroid at the same time. The Polaroid, I can't find film for. But this thing, you know, I, I can find film, so we're going to try shooting it. And I, again, we went over all the operations in a previous video. But what I couldn't figure out at first how to open it because it was, it was stuck. I'm like, you know, there's no more latches. What I finally learned was that the film advance knob here, which just turns to advance the film is not like automatic or anything you know it's again no batteries it's more than 100 years old you have to pull this out and the reason is that this sticks into the spool for the take a take up spool and once you pull it out then you can open the camera so not much in here very simple <laughs> but on this end this is where we're going to put the film the new film goes right here and there's these little spring-loaded tabs on either side that 
holds the roll the spool in place it's uh it's again we're shooting 120 roll film and then it's going to go over this roller here and across the back this is the negative area so you can see how big this thing is it is just massive again we go over all the specs in a previous video but another roller here that roll comes over and then down to the take up spool and that's where on this side that's where that film advance knob goes so we're going to put some film in here again we'll start over put it over roll over here and bring it over and connect to this spool get it started then we'll put everything back together and we're going to take this thing out for a photo shoot today up to a really cool canyon here in the arizona desert so let's we'll see what we can do here with this ilford 120 film now, i have not shot film in many many years and <laughs> going back to before i was seriously into photography and i've never shot roll film like this i've always shot stuff that was in cartridges or or a disc those of you remember those kodak disc cameras <laughs> so this is a little bit nervy nerve-wracking this stuff's not cheap and it's not easy to come by because it's medium format film not you know, a more common 35 millimeters. I literally had to order it online and wait like a week to get it. So, but I did get two of them. But we're only shooting one today because we want to make sure it's going to work before we have any other things we need to fix before we burn up two rolls. And then, of course, we have to send it out for developing and pay for that again. <laughs> okay, there we go. There it is. Ilford HP5 Plus ISO 400 unexposed all right let's see what we can do with this thing huh and well by the way this stuff's you know similar in price to 35 millimeter film but you only get eight exposures so it's got a hatch pattern on either side that will receive this little piece there and that is how it gets advanced through the camera. Are you all as nervous as I am right now? Melanie looks cool as a cucumber back there behind the camera. But... All right, here goes nothing. Uh-oh, I'm going to need some spacers. This is too narrow. All right, we'll come back at you once we get some spacers. <laughs> My under understanding was this was going to fit right in there. So we got some uh, modifying to do. Okay. All right. I was really looking forward to trying this out and seeing what we could get out of it. Well, it's a fail. <laughs> what I read was the 120 film was supposed to fit perfectly in here. Maybe a little snug. So I might have to file down or buzz down the ends of the spool a little. As you can see, it clearly does not fit. Per well, it fits. But... Yeah, we're going to need to, like, customize a spool if we wanted to sit there. And, you know, as Melanie does, does it fit over the negative space? And it really does not. It's too narrow. But this will still work. This camera will still work that way. I've actually seen people do two 35-millimeter rolls sat side by side on a custom spool. So you can do that. Um, <laughs> so we could make this part, I think, will work all right. It'll 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 fill the, the width. Um, this part, we got to figure out a custom spool. Or some spacers or something to make it all fit in there correctly so not a big deal um but it's a fail for today and we'll have to get back to it this one this is the correct size the uh, the catch is that these brownies they were a number of models they're very popular cameras they sold millions of them but there were there were several different models with different size films and so apparently what i had, re had read was that the uh I think it was actually 116 or 117 or something crazy like that. It's no longer made. So that's was why you might have to shave down the spool a little on the 120 to get it to fit. Apparently, that's not the one for this. This is apparently bigger than 120 because it doesn't fit. So we'll do some work on that, come back with that for you another day, and we have something else cool to shoot. Meanwhile, we're still going up to Palm Canyon here in Arizona on Kofa National Wildlife Refuge. Cool place. We're going up there. And we're still going to bring the Sony A6000, which doesn't need film. <laughs> we're going to bring the Instax Mini 40, which does need film, but we already know for sure what that takes. So we're going to have a good time. Hope you guys uh, enjoy this vid this uh, outing. Hope you can laugh with me at my film fail. 
I paid 20 something dollars for two rolls of film that's the wrong size. So we'll do something with it. We'll either get it fixed or we'll maybe I'll have to buy another camera that does take 120. I mean, I'll live to see another birthday if I do that, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> Melanie says it's not a fail. It's not a fail. There you go. Yeah. I don't know if she's just being nice to me or she is a trained scientist or she might be going with the whole Edison theory of not failing a hundred times on a light bulb, but finding out a hundred ways it didn't work. So we just found out one way that you cannot put 120 medium format film in this camera. And that is if it's one that takes bigger than 120 and you don't have a custom spacer. So we're going to have some fun with these other cameras that we do know work. Though. So stay tuned for that and leave me a comment. Let me know. Have you ever had like a film fail like this where you think you're so slick, you got the camera all cleaned and yeah, apparently I should have checked the film before I started recording this video. But thanks for joining us with the video, everybody. We're heading off to Palm Canyon. We'll be sharing more about that very soon. So come back for that and we'll catch you in the next one. Hello, 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 hello.